fun, midnight oil, and the power and the passion. Okay. Has this fabulous capacity of like no memory, which makes it really wonderful for me because right. like people can ask me what year the band started, and I swear to this day I can't remember what. <laughs> so, '76? Uh, no, it was early '75. No, <laughs> I don't know. It just I like talking to people, and so it just so it's it not a repetitive. And there's thing. always. There's always a different aspect to a question. So when you answer a question, it can be it can be one thing, you know. There's standards, kind of, but then every now and then you get bored of a standard, so you have to come up with something different. I didn't start writing until I was about 15, and didn't even get in a band until I was about 20. So I'm relatively really? a late bloomer in terms of yeah. So that it was guitar, and you're singing at home more than anything else. Oh, I was scared to death. You had. <laughs> Because I'd already used the guitar for such a long time as some kind of solace and yeah. some place to go when I was feeling a little down and out, it just it sort of followed suit that when uh, things like that happened, I would go back and I would write about it yeah. rather than having it, you know, just... But in fact, one of the best songs I ever wrote, I think, will, which will never, ever be heard, is about where my mom committed suicide. And, uh, oh, was you, your mom? Yeah, and, and it was just something like... I. I after I, I got to clean up her apartment, you know, I found this note that said, where are you now? And I wrote a song about that, yeah. which I've, you know, I've only played a couple of times for a few people and like everybody breaks down and cries, so it's like a waste of time. Right. But at least when you have emotions like that. Yeah. 